the most common question that I get asked by people whenever they come and see me um, or by their family members is, how has this happened? Why has this happened? I can't believe that I'm in this situation. And we need to take it back and we need to maybe look at the reason why people use drugs or why people use substances or why people use alcohol. Uh, and it's important to understand the why before we move forward. So here's the thing. People use drugs or alcohol either to feel good, uh, to feel better, to do better, uh, and because other people do it. Now, if you're using drugs or alcohol to feel good or feel better, to do better, the thing is you become less likely to use your own mechanisms for coping with all of these things. They become a crutch and in that can lead to addiction and dependence. And when you're in that cycle of addiction and dependence, it starts breaking you down physically, it starts breaking you down emotionally, all of these things start falling apart. So the reality is then, in order for you to start stepping out into recovery, people then want to feel good, they want to feel better, they want to do better, um, and they want to get people in their lives that aren't doing what they did. So it turns out that the same four principles that they were following, um, to, to use in the first place is the same four principles that they need to step into to move forward in their recovery. So the reality is, stop focusing on the whys, why has it happened, and start focusing on whatever positive steps that you need to take to move forward in your recovery. Don't beat yourself up, move forward today, make positive choices.